Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you my sulcata tortoise. And as you can see, I'm out in my backyard. Um, so I'm going to be showing you my tortoise. I got him and when I first got him, he was probably as big as his shovel digger tip right there. All that right there. He was probably that big. And now he is ginormous. So. There he is. He's really cute. He loves me when he's out walking around. He just lets me come and pet his neck. And if you're wondering how to get your tortoise healthy and strong, then I would I did feed him. I fed him kale, lettuce, cucumbers, bell peppers, a bunch of varieties of food. They're not supposed to just have one thing. They're supposed to have lots of things. So you could get them. You also need calcium. You can get that from PetSmart or Amazon, but they need calcium when they're little, but when they are growing up, you can, you need to get them pellets. It can be any type of pellet, just they have to have pellets or else they won't survive. Um, or they will get sick and it can lead to stuff that you won't want to see happen to your tortoise. So you can get pellets from PetSmart or Amazon. But my tortoise right now, he's really healthy and strong. He kind of just sleeps. Uh, he, I, my dad made him in a in a, a little hide for the winter. He loved it, but now since it's like hot, it's kind of hot in that cage right now. So he kind of just found his own little home underneath of some branches. I put this lid on top to keep him shaded, so. This is what it looks like. Um, he just, from the storm we had, the storm just knocked down the branches and he just made it to be his home. So it came from that tree. If you can see it. Um, it came from that tree. My dad was about to throw them away, so he just threw them over there. And then my tortoise just found his way there. So, uh, also, if you're wondering how old or how big your tortoise has to be until he comes outside and he'll be safe from birds and stuff like that, then you... If you have raccoons, then you might want to wait until he's 11 pounds and a foot or two. It depends how big your tortoise is. So I would do one of the, I would do it. I would probably wait until he's two feet. But if your tortoise is really big and he's just one foot, then you could do that too because raccoons won't be able to carry them away. But your tortoise has to be strong so he can like cover up in his shell. So I would wait until he's about a foot or two and or, or 10 pounds, one of those. So they'll just stay safe. Right now, I don't have any raccoons I just have birds, like really big black birds that are probably 
a little smaller than my tortoise, just like two inches smaller, but my tortoise weighs like five pounds. So the birds can't lift up him. So he, he's fine. And if you just have birds, then probably a foot and they could be five or 10 pounds. That should be fine to take them out. Um, yeah, and if, if you're, if you wanna know how old your tortoise has to be to breed with another Holcata tortoise or, oh, by the way, my tortoise is a Holcata tortoise. So every tortoise should be at least five or six years old, then they, you should be able to start breeding them. And that's pretty much it. If, if you want to see me do other things that I'm not doing right now, com put it in the comments down below and smash that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, bye.